With every passing day, it seems like it's getting more and more likely that an additional stimulus payment is gonna happen and that it's necessary to help out the economy. And there was just some updated information on this just this afternoon, so I decided I needed to do my part and help get that information out there as quickly as possible. So just this afternoon, White House Economic Advisor Kevin Hassett had said that experts are studying whether another stimulus deal is necessary in order to help slow the economic damage of COVID-19. And as you know, the longer that this goes on, the longer that people are out of jobs, the longer that businesses are out of revenue, the larger the impact, the more ne necessary some form of relief is needed. So I looked into how officials determine the health of an economy to help understand what exactly they're looking at. So it's largely based off of three factors. And the first one is growth of the economy, the second one is high employment, and the third one is price stability. So how do they measure growth of an economy? Growth of an economy is largely measured by GDP and the change in GDP. GDP is the gross domestic product and it's defined as the market value of all goods and services in a country in any given year. And as a side note here, GDP is only counted for transactions to the final user. So an example that I just made up is let's, let's consider the sale of peanut butter. Let's say you buy peanut butter from the store from a company that makes peanut butter. That transaction would be counted towards GDP. But let's say a company buys peanut butter in order to make peanut butter cookies with it to sell to someone else. That transaction would not count towards GDP. So the second factor is high employment. So to determine where employment is at or if an economy has high employment, economists use an employment ratio which is the total number of unemployed individuals who are searching for jobs divided by the total population of people who can work. And as of last week, 26 million Americans had filed for unemployment within the last five weeks. So it's not looking great on that front. The last factor is price stability, and this factor is determined by the consumer price index, which is determined by the increased costs of a hypothetical basket of goods that the average household purchases in any given year. Things like groceries, automobiles, things like that to determine how quickly prices are either increasing or decreasing. And what we want is a stable yet slowly increasing price index. We don't yet have data for the price index for April because April's not over yet. So we don't know exactly you know, the information there. But based off of these three factors, it looks like we're not doing so hot. <laughs> and the challenge now is for officials to determine whether that first stimulus payment had a positive impact on those three criteria, if another payment is needed, and for how much that additional stimulus payment would be. Now Hassett was quoted by The Hill by saying, I expect it's very likely that there will be a phase four deal. And we're going to be speaking with the president throughout the week about what he thinks should be in there. I know Senator Mitch McConnell and Speaker Nancy Pelosi are, are all working on that as well. So I think the odds of there not being another round, at least another round of legislation, are pretty low. President Trump was also quoted earlier this month saying that another round of stimulus checks is under serious consideration. However, he also said that he likes the idea of payroll cuts versus individual stimulus payments. However, that statement towards payroll cuts has received a lot of pushback from representatives to bring up the current goal, which is basically to keep people home and to get their bills paid, and the payroll cuts doesn't exactly align with those goals quite as well. So what does this mean? The economic advisor has, it seems to be pretty confident that there's gonna be another economic stimulus, and more and more representatives seem to be getting on board with adding individual payments to another round of stimuluses. So that's really all that I have on this. I want it to be as factual as possible. And until next time, if I get any more news, I will present it to you guys as soon as possible. And thank you for watching, and I hope you have a profitable day.